Good morning. How are you feeling today? I am feeling happy. Today is Thursday. Which letters make the th sound? T and H. So where is T and H? There it is. And it's May. And today is the 28th. Two and eight. Can you find two and eight together? There it is. And it is 2020. All right, what day will tomorrow be? What comes after Thursday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Getting to the end of May. And tomorrow will be what comes after 28, 27 or 29? 29. And yesterday was Wednesday. Can you find Wednesday? There it is. And it was May. And what comes before 28? Let's count back from 30. 30, 29, 28, 27. All right, weather ended up being hotter yesterday than we originally said. So today it's supposed to be sunny with a chance of rain. Where's rain? This one, sunny with a chance of rain, and it's supposed to be 24 degrees today. Where is 24? Let's count from 20. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And 24 is right in the middle there, so you can decide if you want it to be hot or warm. I'm going to say it's warm. All right, let's do some money math. So we have, how, what is this coin? It's got a moose on it. It's called the quarter. It is 25 cents. And is this the same as this coin? Are they the same? They are. They both have moose on them. So that means if they look the same, they mean they are the same value. So this coin is also 25 cents. And then is this the same? No, those coins are different. So this coin has a beaver on it called the nickel. Do you remember we did it yesterday? It is five cents. All right, we're going to add them together. So we have five plus five. Plus five. If you can by out by fives, you could do it in your head. Five, ten, fifteen. But we're also going to use the number line. So let's start with the five, one five, and we're going to add five. So counting five. One, two, three, four, five. So now we're at ten, but we need to add one more five. So count again. One two, three, four, five. We get to 15. So we skip counted correctly. But remember, we can only put one number down here. And that number needs to be the second one. So we're going to write the five and bring the one up top. Okay, let's start here. So we've got two plus two. 
could do that on your fingers, or let's use the number nine. So we start at two and we count two. One, two. Now we're at four, but we also need to add this little one. So let's count one more. Four plus one is five. And five plus zero is five. We write the decimal. And then zero plus zero plus zero is zero. So our total today is 55 cents. Two quarters and a nickel are 55 cents. What if we took away the nickel? How much would we have? We would have 50 cents. 55 take away five is 50. All right, social scale of the day. Respecting opinions. In the picture above, the boy on the left is talking about how much he loves basketball and that it is the best sport. He says, I love basketball. I think it is the best sport. And this boy says, or thinks, he doesn't say it, I think soccer is the best, but everyone likes different things. This is called an opinion. An opinion is what someone thinks about something. This boy's opinion is that basketball is great, but everyone likes different things and has different opinions. If someone likes something different than you or has a different opinion, that's okay. It's common to have different opinions, but you should always be respectful. It would not be kind or respectful to make fun of someone else's opinion or complain. Everyone has different opinions, and that's okay. So if this boy says, I love basketball, I think it's the best sport, and this boy says, basketball sucks, that is not respecting opinions. He might say, that's nice that you love basketball, I love soccer. And that would be respecting opinions. Okay. Question of the day. And our question of the day today is, do you like sprinklers, water balloons, or pools? All right. So pick one, sprinklers, water balloons, pools, and then tell me why. Do you like it because you can swim in it? What would that be? The pool. Maybe you have a pool or you like to go to the pool. Maybe you just like to get a little bit wet. And so maybe you like sprinklers. Maybe you like to have a water balloon fight. Maybe you like to water your plants with the sprinkler. You like gardening. Maybe you like to do one of these things with your family or one of these things with your friends. Maybe you like to take swimming lessons at the pool. Maybe you like to see the water balloons pop. Or maybe you like to run through a sprinkler. Tell us why you like whichever item you chose. Okay, you guys. See you tomorrow.